Hello, David. It's Robert here. I want to read to you a great prayer that the Lord gave me about four or five years ago. It's about the church that I see. The church that I see is one resonating with prayer, pastoral prayer, early morning and all night prayer, intercessory groups, a prayer center, intercessors alive and free, prayer that calls people from the four corners of Canada and the world on a daily basis. I see a word-orientated church with solid Bible teaching, hundreds of home cell groups, a Bible institute, a direct link with all Pentecostal type colleges with hundreds of young people studying God's Word and Bible training. I see a church full of thousands of worshipers with extraordinary worship teams of sub Perb quality and sound, helping out other churches and large events with worship, rivaling anything seen yet. 24-hour worship, international worship conferences of worshipers from around the world, musicians and mentoring programs led by commuted musicians, um, committed musicians, singers and worship leaders who have no agenda or ego. I see a church with mentoring and leadership programs, mature, committed leaders, mentoring and modeling in lifestyle, the next generation. Doesn't that sound exciting, David? A strong two-way leadership model, cutting-edge resources and methods to reach the leaders of today and tomorrow. A generation of leaders who have only one goal, total evangelization of the world. I see a church with trains and missions, sends pastors and missionaries at home and abroad, short and long-term uh, missionaries of various vocations to touch the world for Jesus Christ. The greatest, most famous evangelists, evangelists contacting us to help them. Thousands being won through home, church, and friendship evangelism. Evangelists being trained in a school dedicated with structure and training resources. That sounds so exciting. Next generation evangelists being trained and sent from the church. You know what? I see a church with mercy and compassion ministries. Thousands of volunteers, dozens of ministries, touching every need, situation, and circumstance, David. Being a church that really cares. Food bank, counseling, addiction programs, halfway houses, and sending hundreds of volunteers to helping agencies, all organizations. All needs be met, a dream center. I see a church with youth and young adult ministries that trains mentors and equips a generation to reach our city, our province, country, and world. We will have 100% retention of all who come to Christ in this generation. I see a church with children's ministries and thousands of children being one from all over our city and area, reaching the under-18 generation, leaders and workers and resources released into these ministries, daily ministries at all hours to families across culture, religious, and racial lines. I see a church with powerful signs and wonders and miracles, David, awakening this city, this province, country, and world to what God is doing. A New Testament type of ministry with the gifts of the Spirit in Total operation, a day of Pentecost type ministry affecting all types of people, thousands being one, 3,000, 5,000 coming to know the Lord every day. I see a church with great fellowship gatherings as well as home groups, ministry to the complete man and woman, men's ministries that last, women's ministries alive again, partnering with the next generation of ministries and wave of ministries being raised up. I see a church on the cutting edge of technology and media, radio and magazine, internet, and all the new technologies that will come. I see a church with a facility that will accommodate thousands, an administrative facility that helps make this dream become possible, an administrative complex, a prayer center, youth and children complexes, a school, a college, a university, a hospital, a community gym, a theater, a sports and restaurant complex, a church like any, unlike any in Canada. That's the church that I see. David, we need to pray that over every church in this country. We need to pray that every pastor will have a huge vision, a huge uh, uh, 
situation where they will see what God sees. And they will know what God knows. That God will let them see what He sees. This is the church that I see, David. Your friend, Robert. You have a great day, David.